أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم From today onwards I plan to start a new series on IBM SPSS AMOS The lecture series will cover different concepts from the very basic to the very advanced Now today's lecture on IBM SPSS AMOS actually focuses on the very basics of AMOS and structural equation modeling In this series of lecture I plan to cover a number of different concepts the series will cover an introduction to scm introduction to confirmatory factor analysis measurement and structural model basic measurement model understanding amos output improving the model fit assessing reliability and validity basic structural model to test the different path or hypothesis how to report measurement and structural model mediation analysis how to report mediation analysis moderation analysis and how to report moderation analysis now let's say you have collected your data you've got a questionnaire and using that questionnaire you have collected your data now you are interested in analyzing the data using amos so let's look at a very simple questionnaire that one normally uses to collect data but before that we should understand that a questionnaire actually comprises of different constructs and each construct has different items that actually correspond to that construct now that construct is actually a latent variable because that's unmeasurable and that construct is manifested or measured or operationalized using different items now those different items are used in scm analysis now it's always recommended that when using scm or when you plan to use scm make sure that when you are drafting your questionnaire each construct is measured using four to six items you can call them questions you can call them statements as well the reason for this is that a number of items may be deleted during sem analysis so let's look at a very basic or simple questionnaire and then we are going to get back to our basics or understanding the basics of scm using amos now let's look at this this is a very simple questionnaire now this is your construct organizational learning in sem analysis a construct is also referred to as latent variable or unobserved variable now this unobserved variable is measured using these eight items so a respondent actually answers these statements or provide responses to these statements on a likert scale like this now using these statements what you are doing is you are actually measuring the construct similarly you do it for all the constructs in your study just the way i've done so a questionnaire is drafted and this questionnaire is used to measure different concepts in a particular setting now once the data is collected it's actually entered into spss or any other data entry software and the next step is that you perform your data analysis using sem now let's say you've got or you have proposed a model something like this here tangibility reliability knowledge accessibility behavioral intention satisfaction service quality responsiveness now all these in oval shape are your latent variables unobserved variables and they are measured using these items shown in rectangle so what are these items these items are actually these statements now it's not easy to show all these statements in this structure so what we do is we code each of these items let's say this might be coded as oc1 oc2 oc3 so on and so forth this might be coded as pos1 pos2 pos3 similarly you can do for all of them and this is what you see in your model when you run your scm or the models that you have already seen that use scm now before we go on to this model there is another step that needs to be performed this is actually a structural model now why am i saying that this is a structural model because you're looking at the influence of service quality on satisfaction service quality on behavioral intention 
Now, why am I not saying that this you are looking at the influence of service quality on responsiveness, service quality on tangibility? Because here service quality is a higher order construct. We are going to discuss these things as well during our course. Now, so what's the first step? If this is not the first step that we perform, if this is not the direct step or direct analysis we go on to, the first step is actually your measurement model. So before you test your hypothesis, you have to test your measures and you have to test whether they are reliable and valid. Now, In order to do this, we make a model like this, a covariance based model. AMOS is a covariance based structural equation modeling software. So what does a measurement model do? Now this is your confirmatory factor analysis. In confirmatory factor analysis, it is basically a statistical technique that analyzes how well your indicators, these indicators, measure the unobserved construct. Now these are unobserved constructs, the latent variable. And if your unobserved constructs are uniquely different from one another, so if these constructs are actually different from one another, they should be distinct from each other. They should have their own individual existence. Now all this is part of your measurement model. And this precedes your structural model where you test your hypothesis. So the first step in SCM using AMOS is to draw a measurement model for confirmatory factor analysis. Okay, let me put it up like this. Okay, so this is your first step. All the constructs in the study are drawn and then co-varied with each other to perform CFA. So CFA is performed by adding all the constructs in the study, whether exogenous, endogenous, you may call it independent, dependent, moderating, mediating, whatever they are, they are added onto the canvas, onto the drawing board. And then they are co-varied like this. How to do this? Obviously, I'll be guiding you on how to do all of it. Then the model is assessed for model fit and reliability with validity. Now once that is done and once you have got adequate model fit, you have established the reliability, you have established the validity of all the constructs, next step is your structural model where you test your hypothesis like this. So what you are doing is you are actually testing your hypothesized paths. These are the paths here. Service quality to satisfaction, satisfaction to behavioral intentions. So what are the key terminologies when you are using SCM or SCM using AMOS? You will come across this term a lot during this course or maybe when you are reading a book. Constructs. Now these are the measure or they measure theoretical concepts that are abstract, complex and they cannot be measured directly in observable terms. So what you do is rather is, is that you measure using multiple items. Now constructs are represented in path models as circles or ovals and are also referred to as latent variables just like this here. Now these are your constructs, tangibility, reliability, knowledge, accessibility, service quality, responsiveness, satisfaction, behavioral intention. Now what are the indicators? Now these are directly measured observations. These are raw data on which you collect your data or these are the items on which people give their response. Also referred to as either items or manifest variables which are represented in the path models as rectangles. They are also available data or this is your available data. Responses to survey questions are collected from company databases. They are used in measurement models to measure latent variable just like this. Used in measurement model these are your indicators. And they are used to measure these latent variables. Factor loadings. Now these are bivariate correlation between a construct, the unobserved latent variable and its indicator. They determine an item's absolute contribution to its assigned construct. So how well a particular item is representing its construct. You know it through factor loading. The closer the factor loading to one, the better the representation. Loadings are of primary interest in the evaluation of reflective measurement models but are also interpreted when formative measures are involved. These terminologies will be discussed in detail later. So what are your latent variables? It's the same term given to construct as well. So elements of structural model that are used to represent theoretical concepts in statistical model. A latent variable that only explains other latent variables only outgoing relationship in the structural model is called exogenous. 
while a latent variable with at least one incoming relationship in the structural model are also called or, or rather they are called endogenous. Now what are these exogenous endogenous variables? We have already explained latent variables and we have also called them constructs or constructs are called a latent variable as well. So what is this endogenous and exogenous construct or exogenous variable? If you go back to our SCM model, now in this case your service quality is actually your exogenous variable. You can, for now, you can call it an independent variable. Now, responsiveness, an arrow is coming towards this variable. So, this is your endogenous latent variable. Now, this terminology is used with latent variables. In this case, this is both an endogenous and exogenous variable. Why? Because an arrow is coming towards it and then an arrow is going out of it as well. Moving on. Critical T value, the cutoff or criterion on which the significance of a coefficient is determined. Now this is the cutoff or criterion based on which you determine whether a path is significant or not. And then you draw your conclusion for a particular hypothesis, whether that hypothesis is significant or not. Now if the empirical T value is larger than the critical T value, the null hypothesis of no effect is rejected. That is, you reject your null hypothesis if your obtained T value is greater than the critical T value that is already decided. Normally, it's 1.96. So, let's say this is a conceptual framework that you want to test. You've got multiple variables with multiple relationships that need to be assessed. So, what's the first step? The first step is using all these constructs, trust, climate, these five creative organizational learning, organizational performance and drawing a measurement model by drawing covariance between all these constructs. Later, the next step is to draw a model similar to this one and drawing arrows that flow from enablers to KM processes, from KM processes to organizational performance, from KM processes to creative organizational learning and from creative organizational learning to organizational performance. Now these arrows will later determine whether your hypothesized path are significant using structural model assessment. So finally, a brief overview of what we are going to do. We are going to cover a lot of things in greater detail. We are going to study the concepts of AMOS. We are going to study the measurement model, how to report it, structural model, how to report it, mediation analysis, moderation analysis, and a number of other things as well. The thing to remember is that in SCM, your modeling is actually divided into two sub-models, measurement model, structural model. Your measurement model assesses the quality criteria of the constructs, that is they are reliable and valid. And once they are reliable and valid, you go on to your structural model to assess the significance of paths or to test your hypothesis. We are going to look into all these things in greater detail as we go along and I hope and this will be a good opportunity for you to learn a new software to learn how to do structural equation modeling using AMOS. Thank you very much.